Good evening, Speed Gaming, and welcome to this special presentation of the Zelda 1 Randomizer. This is the August Torneo Cordo Finals. I am JXB Adam. I am joined on tracking by Kami and Rinnekai, and in the booth as well with me is the one and only Tracy M. Tracy, not only do I have to ask you how is it going this evening, but what are the flags for this? I don't know. <laughs> well, going pretty good. Uh, two of my favorite runners playing each other, so that's always a fun thing. Um, yeah, the flags for this this month. Uh, Caffrey having won the previous uh, TC. We'll shorten it for ease. Um, got to choose the flags. So we have a mixed quest overworld. We're going to have a recorder at the Armo spot. We're going to have a wand on the coast. And we're going to have recorder to unbeaten vanilla dungeons. So with... And because wood sword blocks are on, once we find that recorder on the uh, on the Armos item, uh, those recorder spots could have our wood sword. Yeah, Speaking looks of like our Armos. start screen has our any roads. <laughs> yeah, it's a really nice to have the start screen have the any roads. Now, at overall, uh, pretty good, and we do get the immediate Armos uh, recorder, so that's really good for both our runners. Um, but now we get to search for the sword, uh, as usual. Uh, but the fact that two of these are in the kind of that Death Mountain area, it would be nice to have them a little more spread out. Yeah, two two spots good, one spot not so good. Eh, could be worse. Okay, other minor details. We are Shapes Dungeons. We are, um, like I said, set first quest mixed. Um, i trying to think what else is, re oh, what else is relevant. I think it's plus or minus two on the yeah. enemy HP. Which is pretty standard. Yep. Norm normal stuff. The big thing is that recorder being... Oh yeah, we are we are capped at wood sword, so we're going to have... And the uh, the magic bomb upgrade is going to be a ten heart, so uh, we might see people get that. That's often not picked up in uh, situations where we're capped at wood sword. 85 on the yeah. small on the uh, large secret, 31 on the mid secret. Not great money, but uh, not a poverty seat either, so we'll be fine. And our first dungeon tonight is level six, found by Kathy. At, I believe that's the vanilla white sword hint cave. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna dig six right now. <laughs> not without a sword. No, I I would be surprised uh, and. We'll see what Shadi decides to do. I expect almost an immediate exit as well. Yep. I mean, I often like to at least kind of get get the feel for what enemies are in there and maybe see if I can pick up a key or two. Uh, but it's also fine to leave. And of course, Shadi using his custom um, Mario st sprites. Uh, Kathy with the normal sprite set. That's right. So we can look at Kathy's screen to figure out what the enemies <laughs> yeah. are. Uh... So the recorder, as you stated, will be uh, vanilla unbeaten. So yep. recorder starts out really powerful, and as you gather more triforces, will just get weaker and weaker until it's That's right. just just the breadstick to uh, take care of dig doggers. You Nowhere. Know <laughs> yeah, the the uh, the late you know the the difference with the recorder unbeatens in this situation is sometimes you may not want to pick up an easy triforce. Uh, so you have access to a location. So, you know, Shaddy checking out the vanilla level 4 spot because we can record her to it. Uh, if there's a dungeon there, uh, you do not want to pick up the level 4 Triforce unless you have the raft because you don't want to have to search out a raft just for that dungeon. Absolutely, and we saw at that level 4 location a uh, small secret of 6. Both runners simultaneous candle pickups at different locations. Yeah, 40 rupee candles is really nice, and we do have a... Uh, yeah, that was the other thing, guys. We do not have extra candles on, so the runners do have to either buy their candles or get a red candle somewhere. And a red candle can be candle block, so... And both runners buying both arrows and, uh, and a candle. I like it. They've got some money. Might as well spend it. Uh, <laughs> Shabby discovering you just can't make that magical bomb upgrade I mean, up at three. Shabby just likes to check. Like, I've seen him check mags at five hearts before. It, that's, that's normal for him. You know, I, I think he's looking for the one, one in a million bug. That we then would have to ping Fred about because uh, Max picked up early. Now that could actually be the white sword item because we don't have the white sword item stuck at uh, at anything. So there is a a bomb upgrade out there to replace that white sword. That could have been it. Yeah. Uh, that, usually that it's not, but you know, 
We don't expect it. And we see level four up in Casino Corner, or board four on Cappy's side. Uh, gonna not explore any of that yet. Still uh, sword hunting. Yeah, we yeah. All we have is a blue candle. Not a whole lot we can do. I know. I know. Caffey's not big on uh, digging dungeons, or I don't think Shaddy is either. Like I said, I'd like to, cause you know, get look, you know, maybe get a key or two. But that, it's it's kind of a rabbit hole that you can go way too deep in sometimes. So I don't don't blame anyone for just leaving a dungeon when you don't have a, a weapon. And that makes perfect sense. Um, it. The odds that you're going to luck into something, a, a key, a bomb pack, or maybe just an open stairwell. And level 8 at vanilla 1Q8. Okay, game. <laughs> oh, yeah, and that's the other thing. Like, uh, because the wand is on the coast, because we don't have a white sword, um, and because we don't have heart shuffle on, that's the other uh, flag that that is relevant. Um, there's not... Like, if, if it's... If, uh, if White Sword or Wand was, uh, available in a dungeon, then there's a little more reason to maybe dig, maybe get that free White Sword, free Wand, be able to get some combat, but that's just not gonna happen in this flag set. Yeah, the best combat you'll find in a dungeon would be that red candle. Yep. Or, I suppose you could argue finding a ladder is also good, knowing the Wand's on the post. Yeah, ladder would, yeah, ladder would be your best find, but you wouldn't be able to do anything right then and there. No, I, I think the next place you'd stop would be uh, a whistle to level 8 to wander to the coast. In the meantime, nobody's found a sword yet. <laughs> no, we are still hunting for our sword. Chat, where's our sword hiding tonight? <laughs> both the both the Q18 and Q27 opening. <laughs> Uh, from a burn awesome. bush. I hate that Q27 spot too. It's especially uh, uh, hard to clip to. Uh, you can, uh, Caffey could have clipped to it from that side. Uh, it is a little more difficult to clip to it though without uh, a sword. So. Yeah, and we're getting a recorder lake check and uh, just a casino tonight. Of course, Caffey not checking out the uh, coast item because we know it's the wand. Uh, he, if anybody should know it's the wand, it's Caffey because he's the one that set it to the wand. Well, if he's forgotten, that's I. It could be a thing. I mean, it is uh, race setting. <laughs> we are very slowly running out of locations. Uh, just a few more whistle spots and a couple more open caves left for that sword. Although, to be fair, both were under checking out burn bushes at the same time. Of course, the uh, sword will not be under a burn bush unless the red candle or the armos item, which we know it is not. Um, so, it's slowing them down a little bit. A little bit, but you don't want to walk by all these spots and leave them unchecked as Cappy gets a nice first bomb off of the blue Octorok. Also gets a heart. Our first take any. All right, and the graveyard is empty tonight. No pushes, no whistles. Yeah, I kind of hate the graveyard in mixed quest because it just seems like, you know, all those, none of those locations are guaranteed to open, and so it seems like none of those locations like to open. Yeah, it's, it seems to be a grab bag. Either none of them open, or what I've seen, all of them open. It looks like level 2 is a lake. I suppose I should have known that. Yeah, it's a mixed quest overworld situation. Chad, going to send 28 rupees for bombs. Not a good price. Not the worst it could be, I mean, because bombs can roll up to 40, but 28 is not what you want to be spending if you can avoid it. Uh, Caffey nope. finds level yep. 7. Another level that we will come back to later, as Shaddy yes. discovers that those piranha plants are throwing swords tonight. They are Lynels. I would hope Shaddy knows what they are. Oh, <laughs> Having I, played I with this sprite set for a couple are. years. <laughs> yeah, Shaddy's about to discover a level 9 up here in the desert. Uh, the old men... Um, Absolutely nothing is going to be said tonight, so yep. hints completely Big fan. useless. Big fan of blank hints. Just get in and out of those rooms as quickly as you can. Great great for getting in and out of the rooms fast. Terrible if you want to try to avoid a door repair. 
Yeah, I mean, at that point, it kind of, yeah, it does force you into keeping the, the door repair money loss, and that's, yeah, not great, but... Alright. Uh, I, we're running out of locations. It may very well be one of the two Death Mountain spots. There's a Death Mountain spot, the, the uh, regular uh, spot to the west of Vanilla Level 9 in Quest 1. And yep, there's also... Corner. Take any, so yeah. And and there's also the uh, the recorder spot that is a 2Q uh, take any spot, um, which is opened up because, well, recorder is the armless item. Well, the nice thing there is uh, at least we have an any road or two that lead up to Death Mountain. Yep. Caffey not going to buy bombs. He did get a lucky bomb drop earlier, so he's not quite in as in as much of a need of them right now. And at Casino at 1Q1, we probably saw that on Shaddy's side. Um, the Wind runners, of course, me. crisscrossing themselves, just looking for that sword. It is a relatively friendly overworld, with uh, Moblins as one of our uh, overworld enemies, which of course means all the baddies, all the real baddies, are going to be in the dungeons. That's right, we're gonna find our Gibdos, we're gonna find our Dark Nuts, and everybody's favorite, the Wizrobes. Uh, everybody probably does not include the runners. <laughs> well, some runners will prefer the Wizrobes. I personally would rather see the Wizrobes on the, on the overworld, where I just have to dodge them and don't have to worry about killing them. Uh, but a lot of runners will prefer the wizard ropes to be on the on in the dungeons where you know because you have still have to get to the dungeons and, and they they do try and snipe you. Yep, we see Shaddy's found level two over here at the bomb spot by Casino Corner, and Kathy is up on Death Mountain. Yeah, I think at this point you have to go for those two Death Mountain locations. I think between our two runners, we're guaranteed it's up here. Um, I don't think there's any other spots that have been missed. Yeah, I can't think of any. Uh-oh, this one opened! Hey, there's and a sword! There it is. <laughs> so yeah, the sword's buried on Death Mountain. Who knew? Oh, nice bomb force Ooh. from Kathy opening the door at the same time. Just for a potion shop, but you know we might we might visit one of those later. Probably not that particular one, but you know. <laughs> yeah, they potions are uh, nice to have. As Shaddy has found one of the take innies. Uh oh, little miss on Cappy's side. That's okay. Death uh, spectacle rock not opening. Yeah, I forget what the numbers we figured out during the last tournament, but it turns out it's only like eleven spots of the ones that are you know, quote-unquote 50-50. They're not 50-50, uh, but the ones that are not mutual to Quest 1 and Quest 2, uh, most of those won't open. <laughs> it's like, it's about two-thirds of them don't open, as it turns out, which is, you know, which means you're burning a lot of a lot of bushes that aren't going to burn, you're, you're bombing a lot of holes that aren't going to open, you know, it just ends up, uh, not a lot. All right, Kathy has seen some dungeons. We'll see which one he prioritizes or if he decides to do some more overworld exploration. Yeah, Kathy's seen a bunch of dungeons, but it's all been, I think, six, seven, and nine. So mm -hmm. I anticipate he'll be looking for a smaller dungeon to start with. It's a large secret for his trouble. Those are nice. We have level 5 for Kathy. It isn't terrible. Oh, if I remember right, this is the one where you're going to see a staircase and it won't be the item because it's never the item. Except occasionally. <laughs> uh, I mean, level 5 does have a transport staircase, yes. And it does feel like that the transport staircase is always the one that shows up first. Why that's particularly true in level 5, I don't know. I think it's more confirmation bias than anything else, but yeah. Yeah, it's it's most likely uh, not only confirmation bias, but the other thing would be that just level 5 is of the dungeons with a transport, it's the smallest one. 
It, theoretically, the smallest one. It is possible for level 7 to be smaller than 5. That doesn't happen most of the time. It takes a really small level 7, a really large level 5, and we... <laughs> oh, oh my god. Hello, mugger uh, that wants hearts or keys. Yeah, we can't give up keys, so we don't even have any keys. So at this point, you either have to give up the heart or you have to wait till later, and hopefully maybe you come back with the any key. As runners don't need all the hearts, and you know we're not going to be picking up a magic sword anyway. Uh, so really not a big deal to... Uh, Give that up. Oh gosh, there is. Oh, is that, a ladder, oh I see. that is a ladder. I, 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 no, that's six the ladder. Arch. The raft has a really, really uh, weird look to it. Yeah, so that's really unfortunate for like a, yeah. like a house. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way of describing it. <laughs> so that's really bad for Kathy because he just gave up oh. a heart. And, and right yeah, next if, door to that is uh, the forgotten spot with another taken, and Shaddy is going to yeah, go Shaddy's going to be able to get that back. ladder. Uh, so that's, that's really unfortunate for Kathy right now, because he's going to need to get two more hearts, and he's going to need to find that spot. And whereas Shaddy's just going to be able to go get his wand, and he can delay going and picking up the wood sword now, because that wand is going to give him plenty of offense. Now, he does have to find the wood sword at some point. It's the only sword available, and Ganon is not vulnerable to a wand. That's right. And uh, at this point, Shaddy probably knows it's up on Death Mountain. I think Shaddy having seen the take any in the southwest corner. Yep. And level five, we see the other uh, sort of unfriendly enemy right now. Not necessarily difficult, but those Pole's voice take a lot of stabs with the wood sword. Yeah, Pole's voice are slow, and they're dangerous because they get, do two hearts of damage. But if you're patient with them, uh, you should be able to get them. Yeah, uh, this bubbles don't help though. No, bubbles are the worst. <laughs> they don't have to be red to be bad. <laughs> now, Kathy wants to do a Kanana key here. Now, doing that in this situation very, very difficult. Is not able to yeah, do it. Can't, you need to can't know do it with the push block. Oh, that's true too. Well, definitely can't do it with the push block. I uh, would have liked to have done that if the push block hadn't been there. I think he was in that room already, uh, and just uh, had to do he it was. again. He went. He went back, and there was a vire that became a pole's voice. That's why he was uh... stuck again because, of course, why would it be a vire? Or why would it be something else? And we did notice that uh, Caffey did try and bomb the vires, and they turned into bats because, well, that's what they do. But more importantly, that means that um, we're not going to be able to kill them with one shot at any point in time, which means their drops are useless. Yep, and there's our map of level 5. That looks suspiciously like a ship. Okay. Ugh, more pulls voice. We and can get the Triforce. And we're picking it up. Yeah, I mean, he's he's thinking about it because, you know, part of the calculus in, in this flag set is, is it, which is more valuable, picking up this Triforce now or having that recorder to the dungeon in question? Uh, if he's already been up towards the level 5 area, and I think he has because we've seen basically everything, um, and that those are all open caves, um, then it makes sense to go ahead and grab that Triforce. Yeah, he saw level 4 up at uh, Casino Corner. He did not have any bombs to check the bomb spot, which is level 2. Yeah, and the good th good news for him is he'll find that level 2 because he'll have to go up to level 4. This, the, the, the tough part for Kathy right now is when does he go get that ladder? Shaddy's going to yeah. have an offensive advantage for quite a while until uh, until he does. Because, again, Caffey needs two more hearts. Um, and he needs the uh, to find the spot. So, like, you know, triple things going on for him. And we got level three on Shaddy's side. Uh, already level three looking better than uh, level five key. I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, but this could I mean, be besides the, item... the fact it's smaller, I just... Oh, no. Uh, well, raft, okay. Well, that's one I one location, one location for the raft in this flag set. So the best thing for Kathy would be if that other raft spot happens to have a dungeon. Oh, Shaddy taking a bop back to start a level three he goes. Alright, we have Kathy down on the coast as Shaddy is continuing with level 3. Uh, this is likely the item room. Uh, these shells are Pole's voice. 
No, this could be the item room. Yeah, I mean, the, the diagonal push block is not the most common to push. But it does, of course, occasionally, because that's how that works. Absolutely. It is, it is one of those 2Q two uh, two Q rooms that we, we typically play with on. It's out there are a lot of rooms that don't push when you don't have the 2Q on. <laughs> and we've got a guess for level 3 as a headless uh, Dig Dug sprite. Okay. I, I thought it looked like somebody doing like a, like a Naruto run. Yeah, well, and and reminder, I don't like the term guess. Like, these are people's uh, thought oh, no, processes. No, 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 opinions. And, and, right? Yeah, opinions, you know, uh, ideas, all good. All good stuff. And we like to hear them. Absolutely. Um, and, of course, because these are ink blots, there is no wrong answer. That is exactly, exactly right. <laughs> well, it's a good thing Shaddy has that ladder. <laughs> oh no, uh, is level 3 ladder blocked? Um, looks like it might be. Uh, might be able to get from- Well, there's a key door on the other side that he was trying to avoid using the key for, I think. Uh, but he's gonna have to use a key here anyway, so it's probably not actually ladder blocked. He's gonna open this door and we'll see. Yeah, it's not like okay. Uh, oh, nice- nice super room oh. with the heart container and the, yep. uh, and the, the- the blocks. And so that does let us know another one of our flags that we didn't mention, and that is remove most open stairs. Yep, remove most open staircases is on. Does that drop if it's if it's uh, just a regular um, drop without a push block? Then it's going to be in between the two blocks. And in oh, any boy. key, oh wow, okay, everything's so far coming up, Shaddy. Absolutely looks like it. And Caffey's still... Well, okay, he's at five hearts, so he's going to be able to pick up that ladder if he does get up to it on, on this route, which, you know, at this point, probably will. He's got enough bombs to get there. Uh, he's probably going to do the same thing that Shaddy did, which was uh, he'll see the ladder, and then he'll go one screen to the, to the left of it, hit the last take any. I don't think he's seen that take any yet. Uh, and then he'll uh, be able to go back and get that ladder. So he shouldn't be too far behind, but he is going to be a little bit... Um, although he's done done five already, so I'm not sure how much of the advantage will be to, to Chatty. It's going to be pretty even. Yeah, it depends on what order Cappy does dungeons. If Cappy happens to go into three first and get that any key, I think that'll negate uh, the advantages that Chatty has right now. And uh, Caffey right now cursing that mugger that took away his heart because he would have just been able to pick up the ladder. But now he's going to get the heart to be able to pick up the ladder and it's all going to be good. Yeah, this is Caffey's last take any. That also means uh won't have a potion available in a take any. True, but if you get the the, the letter, it's, it'll be fine. The money's not been bad. They can He'll be able to buy a potion. Absolutely, but will he find the letter? And here's a bomb upgrade in level 2 for 91 rupees. But in that situation, you, you, the ladder's just way too valuable not to go pick it up. So I imagine oh, Caffey goes, goes straight, uh... to the, straight to the wand, picks that up, and he'll probably go to the northeast corner where level 4 is, which means he'll be finding 3 and, and 2 uh, around relatively shortly. It's like a red candle on level 2. It would be nice if we could have found that with, uh, <laughs> without buying a uh, candle. is 40 bucks, so it's not that big a deal in this case. Yeah, it could have been way worse, like 40 rupees worse than that. <laughs> yep. Ooh, that's not a good oh, death for Kathy there. Death. Uh, he's gonna have to go back, but he's now now having done the coast. He maybe comes from the top. Yeah, po possibly. Oh, does a hard reset to reset his whistle count so that he can go to eight. Well, not just that, but also so he can maybe get a bomb drop somewhere at, at three. He's gonna, you know, so it kind of does double duty here. Absolutely. And the block rock, not obliging. Eames says no. I'm almost surprised. 
Right, meanwhile, Shaddy in this level two that kind of looks like a little hoppy dinosaur thing. Oh, and those spikies are blue dark nuts. We're just not gonna fight them right now. No, we're gonna fight them if the game tells us we have to fight them. That's right. <laughs> All right, here's that coast raft check for Kathy, and it's, it's nothing. Just a yeah. That's a hinty guy. Armor. Yeah, it looks like because he didn't lose his money, but didn't have a have a take any. It, sorry, it wasn't a, a a rupee there. So it's it's just a it's just a uh, would be a hint if this were not um, uh, uh, blank hints. Yep, and uh, as you've anticipated Cappy's up here about to head up to Casino Corner just gonna check all the spots along the way and I believe this is level three so he's probably gonna dig level this three. which is good because that'll get him his any key and it'll get him a heart and be able to finish this dungeon Chatty meanwhile finishing level two is gonna head into level four and get another heart right. and is this a super room it's possible but unlikely no, it, it's of, of with removable stuff. Of course, it's going to work because yeah. I said that. And with removable stuff, yeah, with removable stuff and staircases, that was highly favored to be a, a super room. Uh, that is the spot that a drop would be if it was standing there. Uh, so it doesn't, it's not guaranteed to be. All right. The so... telltale one is if if that drop is in that upper upper uh, right corner. The best sprite change, by the way, is that pokey uh, uh, patra. The pokey for the patra. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Big fan of the Pokey Patra. And so, uh, with that bow in hand, Shaddy's going to have a much easier time with the rest of the Poles boys in the dungeons, having already bought the arrows. Yeah, so he's going to have a, a, a an opportunity at a faster level five because there was some Poles voice in there that Kaffee had to deal with. Uh, everywhere else will be just a wash because like. Uh, Shaddy had to deal with Pole's voice in three that Caffey's going to be dealing with right now, for instance. And, and Caffey's going to do the exact same thing that Shaddy did over here in this little corner where he goes, tries to avoid the key door, but the key door still in the way. And that seems to be a, a thing that happens frequently in, uh, the, in the seeds here. Especially the lower dungeons, they tend to key themselves off. At least from what I've seen. Yeah, it's fairly common. And there's a super room for Caffey. He'll be able to get his any key right here. Shady's gonna kill the pokey. Nice clock for Kathy. Yep, yeah, that's that's always a welcome sight, especially with the uh, Poles voice. We are or gonna have a nuts. we are gonna have a humongous six because that four is tiny, and five was you know about average size. <laughs> I don't know that I want to see what level six is gonna look like. I I think it's going to look like something we don't want to see, but we want to see. <laughs> Shaddy gets That's the Triforce out statement. of level 4, as uh, Cappy gets the Triforce out of level 3. So Shaddy's done in Casino Corner as Cappy is working his way up there. Cappy about to find level 2. And Shaddy's going to be checking the overworld, trying to find his next dungeon. Like, or, just uh, or just go just go do level 8 I mean it is two items so and we're just at this point missing silvers so he could be he could choose to play for silvers and nine but we have a lot of outstanding locations yeah that would I would consider that quite the gamble at this juncture but by the same token being in the dungeons where you don't have the triforce you can still happen upon the items yeah that's right and oh 91 just plus two plus two. Also, of note, that room that Shaddy was in with the bombs in the corner, that grid room does not do the do the removal to open stairs thing, so that was never going to drop. Uh, or sorry, that was never going to push. Yeah, I think the drop would have been on the 
bottom. No, it doesn't. It, there's, there is, it just there's never just, does it. It just doesn't do it. That one doesn't do it. The uh, diagonal blocks don't do it. Um, yeah, those are the main ones I can think of that don't do it. That is a big there's eight. A, that's a level eight. Happy not picking up the heart. Oh. <laughs> I, oh, I know okay. I saw I saw Chester grading us earlier. <laughs> okay, is he gonna go back and pick it up? He's gonna got he's gotta pick it up, right? Yeah, there we go. I mean, we've got the bombs, the magical bombs set at at, at ten. So uh, there's actually reason to pick hearts up here. <laughs> at at least it's... the ten hearts for sure. I mean, the, the magical bombs are not in a great spot, so he probably never goes back to them. But like. I, I have definitely, in, in the situation where uh, the, the magical bomb upgrade is a thing that exists, saved it specifically for when I run out of bombs and saved level 9. <laughs> Just go pick them up then. <laughs> it's reasonable. Um, and there's the red candle for Kathy. As Shaddy finds a transport. And I do enjoy the imaginations of chat with all with the uh, what they're calling the shapes. And oh, by the way, hi, Wizrobes. Yeah, love level eight, not the friendliest enemy set, but we hadn't seen Wizrobes yet, and we'd seen two, three, four, and five. They gotta be in at least two dungeons since they're not in the overworld. Little unfortunate, you know. Both our runners having done got, doing two before four, four having the bow. Well, honestly, you, when you look at it, two smaller dungeon. No, I mean I do two. Voice. I would have done the same thing. Like you don't know the bow is there. Also, you know, wand plus wood sword does make a huge difference as opposed to what Kathy was doing in uh, level five and. Having to sort them down with the just the the wood sword. Absolutely, it makes it what about twice as fast, three times as fast. Yeah, something like that. All right, we've got Shadi in the top right corner of this eight and turning right around. And as expected, Caffey heads into level four. Yep, gonna immediately get this heart container and the bow. We'll see how he plays it in terms of checking items. Now, when, when the runners find level one, they're definitely gonna clear that, but these larger dungeons like six, seven, and eight, it's going to depend on how quickly they get the Triforce, whether or not they uh, go for it there. Now, of course, it is... We don't have Heart Shuffle on, so it makes it a little bit easier, because you're only looking for staircases at that point. Absolutely. It, that does make it all actually a lot easier. <laughs> um, <laughs> the only whammy item you might find would be that Heart Container from the Coast. Uh, no, the whammy items for these guys are boomerangs. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, Shaddy's already up to 10 hearts. Yeah, with the any key, with it, we know the mugger's a key heart mugger, so we're going to be able to pay any more muggers with keys. So no more, no more giving away hearts this scene. Shadi is continuing uh, this level 8, being thorough, so is looking for the items in here. As Kathy looking for the Triforce here in level 4. Well, that's an awful looking room. We're not clearing that unless we have to. <laughs> well, we have the, we already have the, the uh, compass, so... Um, yeah. Well, there's nothing we know stopping we don't have that to. from being a, a, an item that happens to be the silvers, but let's not. Was that a know. block room? It was a it was a diamond or five block. Okay, yeah, that could that could definitely have a, a push block. Ah, 
Honestly, yeah, I, I, if this is the silvers, I'm just not getting them right now. <laughs> like, if I had red ring and a bunch of hearts, then yeah, sure, go for it. Or maybe, and or a bunch of bombs, and there's the, the Triforce for Kaffee out of four. All right, take a tri the items for Shaddy. Oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, gonna take a brief one Triforce lead as Shaddy heads towards the Triforce out of eight. Wood Boomerang as one of the items in level eight. Well, you are correct. That is one of the whammy items. <laughs> we'll see where Kaffee Thanks. decides to go, because it looks like if he wanted to go to eight, I think he would just record her to it. So he's going to yeah, do a little more overworld exploration. Yeah, I think it just checking these couple of spots over here before recording away. It's a shame because if he had one more heart, he could get that magic sword. Those magic sword bombs, I think, are over here, but not going to be yeah. able to pick those up right now. And probably never going to be back here to do so later. No, I think he saw them earlier. They, they are in the waterfall. Yep. Yeah, he knows where they are, but like if he had one if he hadn't had to give up the t the heart to the mugger, he'd have the the 10 hearts to just pick it up, and I think he would. Yeah, I think the other thing, well, uh both of the river spots open, neither one is a dungeon. Yeah, Shaddy is full clearing this eight, all in on trying to find silvers here. Or, you know, it could be like there are other things that could be required. We are still, let's see, we're missing what are we missing? Have we Power seen seven? Uh, we have seen seven. Uh, we've we seen saw that nine, early. right? No, we've seen... Okay, one. We haven't seen one yet. I know we there was something. We have seen level one. Yep. I knew there was a dungeon we're still missing. So we could still need a power bracelet for a... Uh, for a level one. And with our runner's coverage... How many spots are left on the overworld between the two of them? Yeah, uh, mostly these Death Mountain spots that Caffey's checking right now, plus the Power Bracelet spots. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, and, and yeah, it may be a mean statement, but I agree, agree with you, me and Chad. There's a, it's look, starting to look like it's that wizard room. Uh, <laughs> Shaddy with half a heart. <laughs> Caffey with lots of money says, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up some meat just in case. And at 52 rupees, I think that's a good plan. Yeah, that was actually excellent work by Shaddy on that Patra uh, in the lower corner. And, oh boy, so <laughs> this is the item, but we're this not going to be item. able to get it. Oh, that's so rude. Yeah, you can't not pick up that Triforce. We'll see if he goes back in for him. Oh, I almost or... guarantee, with the almost full clear end, knowing that it's just get down to that room. I think the only thing I would have done different, and this is just me being a commentator and not so much a runner, I would have left the room so the Moldorms wouldn't respawn. Well, if Moldorms aren't hard to deal with, besides you can force a bomb off them easy enough. Oh, no, absolutely. I I wasn't suggesting they were like a terrible enemy, just the, these are the crazy thoughts I have whenever I'm playing. No, I would a hundred percent. 100% agree with you if it's like a Patra or a Gleok or something. <laughs> Not, it actually couldn't be a Gleok, uh, but like a Patra or, you know, some of the more difficult enemies. Yeah, Patra, even a Manhandler. Now, Not, Kaffee not a difficult... might be in a different situation when he gets here. He might, if he uh, finds level 1, he might have a better idea of whether he even needs that item or not. That is absolutely true. I think uh, Cappy is almost done with overworld checks. It's just it's the, coast the coast heart. heart. So level 8 is a giant bust tonight. That's a lot of time that Shaddy spent in that level 8. Uh, he might get that time back if, yeah, Caffey's heading to level 8 right now. He might get that time back if Caffey decides to full clear this. Absolutely. Uh, certainly could happen. Um, Especially since uh, I think Caffey might be out of overworld spots, and so it's looking like level one. Uh, it may very well be just be under the power bracelet like uh, we thought it might be. 
which means we're going to be digging six or seven or both six and seven. And as noted, there's a good chance six is going to be really, really big. Uh, question in chat, what was the other item in level eight? It was the wooden boomerang. Of course, if Kathy keeps going down here, we'll find the Triforce, and then it, it does get interesting because we'll see a super room. We'll probably go back in for the super room, and then, then it becomes a little more calculus there, whether or not you want to spend the time digging out the second item. Yeah, I mean, it all depends on uh, when does he get there, right? Does he get the Triforce? Shaddy was avoiding the Triforce room, not realizing it was going to be a super room for him. Uh, it, which is understandable, because, you know, you don't necessarily expect that to happen. Uh, clearing the rest of the dungeon. There's the Raft for Shaddy. Yeah. He's in level 5 now. There's the Transport in 8 for Kaffee. Yep, gonna take the Transport. I think that's gonna hand back a good chunk of the time to Shaddy. Yeah, and Shaddy gained a ton of time in that level 5, got through very, very quickly. Uh, Kathy yes. spent a lot more time in that 5, having o only a wood sword, plus he, he went up, Shaddy went down. Uh, and down turned out to be the right answer for both the item and the Triforce. Absolutely, and uh, as Steel is pointing out, uh, Shaddy did pick up the Triforce in level 8. So it still is advantage, Shaddy. Uh, but way too early. I mean, Shaddy does need to clear a bunch of overworld spots to, to know what we know, which is that the uh, level 1 looking like it's behind the power bracelet. Uh, so I imagine Shaddy will be doing that now. Probably will also check that raft spot. I think so. And probably then we'll head to Death Mountain, cover the rest of the overworld just like Cappy did, and then it'll be time to pick between 6 and 7. Yeah, and I would pick seven first. Uh, six tends to be bigger than seven, and we think this is we think this uh, six is going to be pretty big based on the sizes of level five, levels four and five. Yeah, that's a no. That's a nope. <laughs> or okay, we're gonna oh. do it. No, he's gonna go for it. He's got this some bombs. The... Yeah, I, this I would is not the second that. one, uh, and we see Shaddy finding a take any grabbing a potion. Yeah, we know this isn't the answer. Okay, Caffey says, you know, maybe this is not such a great idea. <laughs> and Caffey going the wrong way for both items. Yeah, that transport really was uh, a terrible thing for Caffey to have found. Uh, he does get the heart. Get the heart. Although he's not going to be near the magic sword heart uh, bombs again. Chatty chooses level six, which honestly is fine. Like they're 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 the two worst dungeons, you know, because eight being big but also has two items uh, isn't quite as bad. Uh, you don't need that key cap. <laughs> yeah, six, six is giant and has a segment, so that's special. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's always fun when uh, when those large levels have those tiny little segments, and by fun I mean uh, that in a very sarcastic fun way. <laughs> well, I I think fun is always relative. So yeah, fun fun for us in chat, not so much fun for the uh, runners. Eh, perhaps I I mean I know there's a bit of a tradition of of, of wishing for trolls on 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 uh, runners in, in most randomizers, but I'm I'm more of the, I just want a close race, so uh, uh, been, it would have been neat if uh, if Kathy could have uh, gotten through this eight a little bit faster than Shay did, just to catch things up and keep things nice and close. Okay, this is the boomerang for, for Kathy. Yep. And He's not gonna Kathy pick it up. Goes, yep, if Kathy decides to go straight to the Triforce room, we'll make up a bunch of time. Um, Nose just needs a staircase, so again, we'll most likely be just skipping through rooms quickly, hopefully. Gonna take out this same manhandler, though. Yeah, this room can is often a uh, push. So let's get his bombs back at least. So that's a good thing. 
Yep, and one way this race could tighten up if uh, Cappy's doing exactly the same thing as Shaddy is if Cappy decides to go to 7 before 6, but Shaddy, having found the Triforce in level 6, maybe. Yeah, I don't know if you... Yeah, he, I, think, I think I would bail with the size of this map and go to 7 first. Shaddy may even head up to Death Mountain right now because still hasn't cleared any of that overworld. Yeah, yeah, Shaddy still doesn't have the information about the, the power bracelet. So, again, this is one of those decent things for Kathy, but uh, we know the runners are maybe just a little closer than they seem, because here's no, uh, I mean, it, seeing the room. This is actually really close. Uh, Kathy just, yeah, Kathy's just going to pick up the Triforce and then kill the Moldorm, to your point about the Moldorm respawning. I think that uh, that works out pretty well. Yep, let's see if uh, Kathy also decides to force he a bomb off the Moldorm. Yeah, that's a, that's a, yeah, because he's got, at six, he doesn't need the bombs as much as, as Shay does, having already done uh, the clears of the, of the, of Death Mountain, where you really have that heavy bomb usage. On the other hand, you do want to have plenty of bombs for when you go into both six and seven. Especially if they happen to be Wizrope-laden dungeons. Or we could just get a bomb off of a Gorilla. or two packs of bombs off of Gurias. Now we have to avoid this room again, and I've seen it. let's see if I can bomb down. Maybe make this a little bit faster. And Caffey's gonna be disappointed that it's just the heart container. Might not even pick it up at this point. Yeah, already having 10 hearts, um, gonna, yeah, get down. Yeah, he's not even gonna pick it up. Otherwise. All right, now Caffey has to choose between six and seven. And I think this looks like seven. Yeah, seven was on the this recorder spot. I like the seven play better than the six play. Shaddy, meanwhile, is looking for a level one. He's not going to find it. Now, the yep. best thing that can happen is the dungeon you dig first, in this case, for... In both cases, it's going to be seven, right? Because Shaddy's going to go back to seven, go do seven before he goes into six. Is that you'd find the uh, silver arrows in whichever one you do first, and then you can go... Then you know the power bracelets in the other one. Important items can't be a nine. And even if they could be, uh, you, you can't have that... Um... <laughs> or you oh, get white oh, force. Yeah, okay, so see if he goes back in. Well, items can't be a nine, and since one is behind a power bracelet, one uh, power bracelet would still not be able to be a nine. And Caffey's like, you know what? Let's just not deal with this. We'll go ahead and do six now. Yeah, not a terrible choice. Um, I always agree with dig the dungeon that you don't have the Triforce out of, at least until you have the Triforce, and then you'll have a then real you have, decision to make. Yeah, then you have to make a decision. Uh, the two dungeons aren't that far away from each other, so not too hard to get back to them. Uh, so now we're tied on Triforces and tie, almost tied on information. Shaddy doesn't have that much left to clear before he gets... Oh. That's, an, that's an unfortunate death. Um, but yeah, doesn't have much left to clear before, he, uh, uh, before he'll know. And there's that map for Caffey. <laughs> He's probably swearing a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So for Caffey, it all depends. Maybe Caffey's taking a different route in 6. I don't remember which way Shaddy went. I know Shaddy took a transport, I think. All right, Shaddy, right back to the screen that uh, he took that unfortunate death on, sees it is a potion shop. And 
And he's probably gonna go into seven now. Oh gosh, yep. this room. <laughs> we don't need oh, anything in that room. Door. It's got a shutter door, but that room. <laughs> That's one of the you know you know it's funny because a lot of times when you see the uh, the the double push block, you're 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 gonna be like, oh, okay, this could be something. And then when the shutter closes, okay, this can't be something. But in this case, when you see the blue d darkness, you're like, you know what? Let's this, let this not be something. <laughs> that's, that's much better. Absolutely. Oh no, another overworld death for Shaddy before he can oh, check that Oh yeah, that's just, that's just a, you know, it's just a flat out time loss, especially if he does go back to it. And I think you have to, because you, you have seven and a really huge six. And Caffey's not going to take the transport. Yeah, I think that was the transport that Shaddy popped out of. Oh, but makes Caffey sense. also has the compass. Shaddy didn't have the compass. Yeah, Caffey knows where this Triforce is. Uh, and he's got to make a decision. Like, I think at this point, you've already, is he going to buy more bombs? He is going to buy more bombs. Uh, for a total of 12. That's fair. And the, now, Caffey sees the Triforce. Going to dig around a little bit. And yeah, I then think, it gets interesting. Yeah, I, 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 I like the decision... I mean, yeah, you're choosing between six and seven, and the six is humongous. But you also have the map. You don't have the map to seven. Absolutely. And even if uh, Cappy goes right back and picks up the Triforce, I still agree with clearing this uh, bottom portion. Ooh, this of is this. promising. This is very promising right now. Uh, not not a, a drop, so it's not a remove most open staircase stair, but it is the stair, it is the item. It is not the oh, item, no, it is the stair uh, to the segment! Forgot about the segment. And we're gonna the check segment, out that right. segment. No, oh, wait, no, the we're other not in the stair. Segment. No, that was no, the... No, okay. The other stair is to the segment. This is the one that Shaddy took. Oh boy. Took. But again, wow. you don't have to clear those dark nuts. Shaddy did spend the time to clear those dark nuts away. Yep. Shaddy in level 7. Probably would just have opposite digs, right? Because, like, Shaddy, having already finished up with 6, isn't going to want to come back here. So he's going to do... Um, he's going to probably full clear 7. Uh, whereas Caffey, having already gotten the quick Triforce out of 7, is probably gonna, is clearing this 6. And it could come down to which one of these dungeons has the power bracelet. Um, unless... One of these dungeons uh, has the silvers, in which case, which whoever finds the silvers is actually going to be the one uh, in the lead. Ah, uh, here's another I promising uh, stair, or possible stair. Yep, and as you uh, predicted, Shaddy going back into seven as Kathy continues on six. So Kathy only half a heart. And there's your map of seven. Seven is just as disgusting as six. Yeah, it's kind of weirdly shaped. And six, you know, six always has these big blocky, uh, somewhat left justify. You know, you have the the they they all, yeah. Six just has a has a shape to it. Usually, it's it's funny because when we play a hidden dungeon numbers, six is usually the easiest one to spot. <laughs> yeah, I. I've noticed that six always looks like that, like the left three columns are full. And this could be a thing. More. This no. is not a thing. Okay. Yeah, that that is the the location in the two block room where it's not guaranteed to be guaranteed to be a remove most open staircase situation. Yep, we're just uh, continuing our digs. There's there's a lot of different ways this could play out, and by different ways, I mean the power bracelet is either in six or seven. We don't know the item that will be in the other one. It could be the silvers. It could be the magical boomerang. Yeah, red ring could decide to pop as well. The magic bombs. Uh, we do have a few other the book. So we do have a few nice items outstanding. Yeah, I believe the book's Atlas in this flag set, correct? It is, yep.
as we can see, Cappy's yeah, covered he's, almost he's all covered of a lot of this six. I think at this point you have to finish it. You just cover too many rooms. Absolutely. Even if it ends up being the last room in that little segment, that would be horrific. And I'd have to just say thanks, game. Oh, this, this is will a, a this will be it. Well, this ha we've seen three transports, and we so this has to be the item. Just don't die to the dark nuts. That's the one thing that the wand does, is you can get that weird hit where it bounces the dark nut forward the way you were running away from it. And it's, and it's the bomb. Okay, so, so that means... Pick those up. Shaddy's in the right place. He's going to be able to get that. And Caffey needs to remember that he does need to pick up the Triforce. Uh, thankfully, has the compass, so hopefully we'll see that blinking. Yeah, no, he, he walked right away. back in. He's going to get that Triforce right now. Um... Does have a nice 14 bombs, which could play a part in uh, level 9, but definitely advantage Shaddy since uh, we know he's going to find the power bracelet first. Or most likely, I mean, this is an ugly 7, and there could be, a, again, another uh, uh, change in direction uh, if, if yep. Caffey goes a different direction than Shaddy does, but definitely right now advantage Shaddy. Absolutely. It, it comes down to a zig instead of a zag. In these dungeons in a tridongo room that probably pushes because of course this is a terrible room for for dodongos all right we are all tied up on triforces now at seven apiece uh Caffey knows he needs to go back to seven shaddy does not know that he's in the right place but he is in the right place and it does not push It was interesting to see the Dodongos get caught in that top corner. Alright, Kathy's almost back into seven. Shaddy continuing the dig. and another Dodongo. Well, we like bombs. <laughs> Caffey gets his map to level 7. I'm gonna be disappointed by Aquamentus. I mean, who isn't? Shaddy checked his map, and I cannot see where Cappy is on the map on our restream. Yeah, There's that, that sprite dark. color. Yeah, that sprite color is really hard to see. I've gotten to the point where I can kind of see it, but you really kind of have to squint at it. He's uh, he's in that little nub under the seven right now, which has nothing, so he's leaving it. And there we can see that Shaddy's done almost the entire dungeon, with the exception of, I think, the top left portion? Yeah, if the answer is the top left portion, and, and Caffey just does it, um... We still got a race. Again, just looking for a push block. Thankfully, we have, uh... So we do not have Heart Shuffle in this flag set, so we don't have to worry about floor drops. And there's that. There's the uh, from the Triforce, and this is the room. Yeah, that, this could oh be it. Oh boy! This could be it. It is it. Oh boy! Game. Wow! Both players leaving 
With the Triforce one room away from the item. That's... And who would think to bomb there? Like, you don't have a map. Yeah, no, with no map, I completely agree with what happened. Um, there's it's so just no crazy. reason. So Caffey's heading down in that direction now, has full clear at the top. Yep, if Caffey decides to stay here on the left side of the dungeon and clears down to that little foot next to the Triforce room, then that will be very good for Cappy. We'll make up some time. In the meantime, Shaddy is looking for the level for his level one. I'm gonna check the place near our start spot. Ah, uh, that would have been game's not gonna be nice to us and put it there. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Can't do that. And as is always the case, it's going to be in the last place Shaddy looks, I think. Which will be yeah. the Lost Hills. Uh, well, it could also be up and on Death Mountain. And there's a few Death Mountain spots as well, so don't don't forget those. Um, I completely forgot those, you can yeah. tell. Yeah, because the, the, the four um, any roads are, of course, power bracelet spots. And in Q1, those are the only power bracelet spots. But of course, in uh, 2Q, we also have, since this is a mixed quest, uh, we also have the uh, the Letter Cave, level 4, and uh, um, uh, what's the other spot? Oh yeah, Bogey's Arrow, which is the Magic Sword yeah, spot. Yeah, Arrow. Magic Sword, yep. So, uh, yeah, in the meantime, Media yeah, Media Triforce, but yeah, I don't think you leave with this. I don't think you do. No, you, there's three, you there's two items up, in here. Though. Well, he, wa he wants to kill the Patcher first. He's going to leave the room. This is a situation where you absolutely want to leave the room with the Patcher in it. Yeah, but I leave the room going out the way that I came in just because of, well, not not the worst thing, red whiz robes, but if he'd gotten shuttered in here with, say, eight blue whiz robes, that would have been awful. Well, you could still still up eight. No, the Patcher would stay dead, fine. though. So. Yeah, Patcher would stay dead as long as you leave the room. Caffey yeah, running out of rooms in this level 7 has gone everywhere but where he needs to go. Well, that's how it works. It's The, the item is always in the last place you look. Chat, it's because you stop looking. You're all welcome. Yeah, I wonder if he's realized there's that room off of the Triforce room. I think maybe he's realized it now, because he's now heading to this, tr this is, we know is a transport that's going to take him to where he needs to be. The, uh, the power bracelet was literally one room to the, to the left of, of uh, the Triforce. Uh, but it was a bomb wall, so there was no reason to go look. And really the difference yeah. came down to, uh, Shaddy did, uh, level 6 first, got the Triforce and decided not to dig it. And instead, uh, dug level 7 when he got there, Caffey. Um, decided to dig level, dig level six, level seven first. Got the Triforce really quickly, and then decided to uh, dig level six. And in both cases, because of the order they did things, in, it totally made sense for them to make the plays that they made. Uh, unfortunately for Caffey, all he got out of uh, his dig in level um, six is extra bombs, which you know is nice and could make a difference. I don't ex know that it's going to make a difference, but. Uh, definitely not, definitely not what you're hoping to find. And Caffey immediately making the wrong choice of going down instead of up to, uh, um, the Lost Hills. Yep. But I suspect he's gonna check this one down here by start and then up A back to the, back to his start and check the Lost Hills one because it's the least out of the way and is guaranteed to push. And Shaddy yep. finds the book. book. And finds out that no, Caffey looked... says no. I'm gonna check these off, locate these far away spots because I feel behind, and unfortunately, it's not gonna work out for him. So there's the uh, Triforce pickup for Shaddy. Um, but Caffey does get a Caffey letter. Got the letter. That could that 
could play a role. Uh, he will be able to buy a potion, which uh, Shaddy won't be able to. In fact, I think he's gonna go buy. Uh, no, this is the any. This is another any road right here. Yeah, it's the any road up here. Um, Shaddy did get a uh, potion out of a take any. Okay, so he's we're even. We'll be even up there. But Shaddy is going to be the first into level nine. Yep. Not a very. Oh yeah, good nine. yeah. Silvers and red ring in nine. And oh, by the way, not the flag. The flag was not turned on to automatically put silvers and red ring in nine. Uh, eight had the heart and the uh, and uh, the magic boomerang. No, sorry, the wooden boomerang. Oh, we get immediate roar. That's not good when you're looking for silvers. You don't want that. And oh, by the way, here are our whisperer friends. We're gonna go ahead and put that friends in quotes. <laughs> Always. And Kathy into level one. Uh, I anticipate Kathy will do the exact same thing that Shaddy did. And yeah, dig you have all to the dig items out of here. You have to dig all the items out of here. And in the end, you know, the book is worth it. The magic boomerang, not so much. Oh, Silver Arrows Silver is right wow. next to Ganon. What game? There's the heart container for Kathy. He doesn't care. That's the second one he skipped. Does see the Triforce, grabs it. If he leaves, if, he could if gain some time. Can, yeah, that would be a huge amount of time. And now, the problem with leaving, of course, is that would mean that he doesn't get the book, so he won't have the map. But yeah, he's going to go back. It makes sense to go back in. It's level one. You go back in. Yep, looks like Shaddy has a stun lock on Bowser. Gonna go ahead and potion. Uh, maybe a mistake? Maybe not. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm, still don't I'm, wanna have no, hearts I'm, I, for exploration. I mean, Gan Ganon's gonna do four hearts uh, if he hits him. Uh, I didn't see where he was at, but if you're if you're taking a risk, if you're uh, not potioning there. Yep, and so now the hunt is on to find the kidnapped for Shaddy. Oh, hey, there's the useless bait block. I don't know if we saw that on Shaddy's side. But... <laughs> uh, we did. Useless bait block. Yep, Cappy having now seen the magical boomerang, uh, just looking for the stair item. Oh, there's another mugger room, but we don't care anymore because we have the magic. Uh, we have the any key. That's right. There's the book for Kaffee, and he will be head nine shortly. So it's just been a case of Kaffee being just a little behind Shaddy. All because six over seven. Well, there are a few little things like Kathy getting into five before Shaddy did. Didn't have the equipment for it. Spent a lot more time in five than than Shaddy did. Um, uh, that's true. I'd say most of the other dungeons were uh, fairly similar. Yeah, I absolutely. Um, other, but I do think that that dig was the the majority of it, but of course you are correct, level 5 also played a... 5, five and 6 role. both. 5, yeah, that that's that 5 was uh, much nicer. Like, Shaddy had I'd, I'd say less than a minute in 5 and Kathy probably spent 2 or 3 at least. Yep, and I think that was a shutter door that I saw. Here it is! Let's get our PGs in chat for your... Uh, August Tornio Cordo champion Shaddy. As Caffey finds his silvers. 10840, the official time for Shaddy. We'll see if Caffey decides to finish this out. You might go and kill Ganon and see if it's just an immediate. We'll find out. Yeah, I don't know if. I know some runners have race time up, some runners don't. I don't know about Kathy. No, Kathy will have it up. I 
and it might be one that turns might turn it off you know some some runners will turn it off when they get into certain parts of, of uh, whatever randomizer they're got they've gotten to yep and we do see that uh Cappy gets a good stun lock and does take down Ganon. Yeah, very is... nice. Like, he didn't have a potion or anything, just the three hearts. And we do have Shaddy, our champion, for August, joining us. GG's. Thank you so much. I, I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, GG, Shaddy. Thanks, Adam. I, I'm just shocked. Between well, that six and eight, or, yeah, no. So, was it? were... That's so dumb. Seven. <laughs> Eight. Yeah, yeah. Whatever those dungeons were, where I saw every so, room so, with the stair. <laughs> so you 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 had very similar sevens. You had the only the dungeons that you all did had different. Um, you had a much quicker five. Uh, Kathy had got there a lot earlier than you did without bow, and went up instead of down. I think you had maybe a I think he had less than a minute in five, and he had a few minutes in five. And the bigger one is. Uh, you went six and seven looking for the power bracelet. Actually, I don't even think you knew you needed the power bracelet when you were in six. I uh, didn't, Kath, I yeah. didn't want to dig that six. It was like a it billion. Was huge. It was huge. And we knew it was going to be huge because like four was tiny and five wasn't that much, that big either. Um, but but he, he, Kathy went seven and six. So, you know, the uh, Triforce and seven was immediate. Uh, there was no indication that there was a room right next door that, oh, by the way, had your hard required power oh, reset. Oh, by the way, there it is. <laughs> it's right there. Um, which meant he dug six instead of seven. Which, I mean, it made sense for the orders you guys did that. It's like, which do you do? A horrible six or a horrible seven? Well, you do the one, you get to second, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I look it. It kind of lucked out, right? Because I still had seven, and seven was right next to Recorder Lake. It was like yep. one screen, one scroll over. Mm -hmm. um, so I recognized that. So I said, you know, like, I don't want to go back to that six. No. <laughs> so I found, the, found the Triforce. Okay. And then but I still had like a few overworld spots left. Yep. But I knew I could whistle back to seven like any time. So I was like, I'm just going to go check it. Mm -hmm. You know, hopefully I don't need the bracelet. Yep. Um, but at least I'll know. Yep. And then so, yeah, I was just yeah, I, it just seven to the, be white sword or something dumb. Yeah, we're yeah, <laughs> six, six was anyway. six was <laughs> six was your white sword bombs, which you know is not the worst thing ever, but really <laughs> did not wasn't something that helped Kathy enough to make a difference because you did not have issues with bombs in, in nine. And get your GGs for Kathy finishing in second with a one twelve oh six, and that's the six dig and the and the five dig. <laughs> GGs, Kathy. Yo, GG's, Chatty. Yo, GG's, man. Well done. I'm just I'm shocked you weren't ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> These dungeons just... the I, like, I don't know how many rooms you saw in 7 before you got that power bracelet. But oh, all you both saw room. all. You saw yeah, all. Yeah, I mean, that, <laughs> that was like the only thing going through my head was like, well, maybe Kathy missed it too. And I'm like, Kathy's mm. so good. Like, there's no way he missed this. I was thinking yeah. that maybe, uh, like, I was shocked to see Silvers. I figured, like, you had already done nine, and you were, like, deep in six somewhere by the time I got to nine. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, that's what was going through my head. At least. Yeah, dude. It, I had that Y-Force of seven, and I'm like, okay, I'll just go to six. And I saw all of six. I think, I think except for the little two. Yeah, you never went to the to the to the uh, the segment, but yeah, you saw every <laughs> other room of six. Every other bombs. room. Bombs. I mean, bombs are nice, but yeah, not what you wanted to find. <laughs> and there was no way I would have known that room was there because I don't. Think no. Or... No, you didn't have the map. <laughs> yeah, no map at that point. Just just a triforce and a dream. <laughs> yep. Dream was crushed. Oh. So yeah, yeah. So the in the other the other I mean there was another difference. So uh you spent a lot more time in five than Shaddy did. Shaddy had a super quick five. Or he had the bow. Uh went down and set it up. Everything was down. And you okay. spent you spent a little bit of time in five. Uh, I guess the other difference I don't think this really made a big difference in terms of time because there weren't a lot of ladder blocks, but Shaddy also did get to that ladder sooner. Yeah. Uh, we were a little bit worried because when he got the ladder, you had just given up your heart <laughs> to the mugger. I know, and right? It was a six heart. It was a six heart ladder. 
So we were, we were a little concerned, but it turned out that you were, you both end up getting to that ladder at five hearts, went to the next screen, got the take any heart. <laughs> right, I forgot about that. That's, that was so depressing. I was like, <laughs> oh, ladder, let's go. And then I couldn't get it. And I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding me. But then the very next screen was another heart. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. That was funny. I didn't laugh at that. Did you, yeah, did just you a see roller coaster or white sword early? Ladder? Did I see? I didn't go in before. I, I did saw, you see I, it? Like yeah. the map? No, just the level. Like I saw it. Oh yeah. Like I was still looking for swords, so I left. I think that. I think you can get that bow for free. No, like it was in the first room. Was it? Yeah. Boss. It was the super room. It was. It was a part inside a reverse city. Yeah. And it's free for the ruby boss. Yeah, I saw, I saw that. That was another time I saw that. I'm like, oh my god, I could have had this bow like so long ago. <laughs> All no, I had to do was like speaking dip of one room in. The I know, room. right? Shout out, by the way, shout outs to super rooms uh, in eight. <laughs> oh my god, that was dumb too, man. I was mad. I, I saw so like, mad. I saw a lot of that eight too. <laughs> I'm like, I think we both basically. Oh, I think you both maybe saw, maybe if you, between the two of you, we maybe missed a rumor two and eight, but yeah, we, we saw all of eight. <laughs> basically. Yeah. And uh, you full clear six, seven, and eight, you're not going to win. So it's just not happening. <laughs> and I felt behind after five because my five was really slow. It felt yep. bad. Yep. And then that five doing two before four was a really feels bad because there was a bunch of freaking bunnies in there, too. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> yep, yep. You both, you both wrong ordered that, but you know. It's, so, like I said, six and five being the big differences. Kathy, uh, just real quick question: uh, When you did get the power bracelet, you uh, checked the uh, letter spot before, which did end up being the letter, didn't it? <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> and then you didn't even get a chance to buy a potion, but yeah, no, <laughs> uh, I not was... that you needed it. <laughs> Yeah, it was luckily I got that. I said, "Yeah, that was a really nice game." Red fight. ring, unless Chad you bought one, I didn't buy one. But no, <laughs> red ring was somewhere in nine. Yeah, never to be that. found. <laughs> we saw everything else. <laughs> yeah, got a good Ganon fight. That was fine. The rest of the level was really easy. But man, yeah, the six, seven, and eight just really killed me. But them's the breaks. Yep. Well, I mean, you, you've joined a long line of people who have not defended their title and not won their flags. We've only had no. two players. <laughs> We've only had two players, as Can't far as I know. Part of that group. We'll warm up my invite, Kathy. All right, so Shaddy, uh, any idea what what we're planning for uh, September? No, not yet. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I don't even know how long I have to pick flags. I'll talk to Wyma still set me straight or <laughs> let sure me will. until I tell him. Yep, yep. <laughs> More <yep>. likely. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll definitely be looking forward to see what, what shenanigans you come up with, and I'm sure it'll be a, a fun uh, September as well. Uh, no, Jess. <laughs> Jess asking for Sprite Shuffle. No. Just no. Don't do it, Chatty. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, I won't be doing that. <laughs> no, no, no. No does spray that, shuffle. So does and... that mean we have to make sure Jess never wins one of these? Because <laughs> she'll do so. spray shuffle and reverse overworld. She's got a whole VR will. to do that. No, right? Just, just... Uh... So, yeah, that was that was fun. All right. Uh. Uh, anything else uh, either one of you wants to add before we go ahead and close this out? Yeah, just GG's, Kathy. It's funny, right? Because these races, like, me and Kathy probably we got smoked by, like, half the field in the seat. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's fun playing Heads Up. Uh, I'm looking forward to SGL. Um, you never know when Heads Up, right? Like, you're going the wrong way, but maybe so is your opponent, but if you're playing in a 10-person race, you're, like, screwed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, so GG's to Kathy, obviously great player. And, uh, yeah, thanks you guys for stepping in last minute to get this on. Uh, that's always appreciated too. Yeah, echo what Shady said. It uh, it always seems like a coin flip whenever I race heads up against Shady today. <laughs> yeah, he got it. Next time, maybe I'll get him. It, it's it's a always a coin flip when you face top level runners. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and it's fun too. It, makes it really interesting and uh, yeah. again thank you guys for the uh, stream cracking but... yeah maybe you'll play each other in the SGL 
tournament coming up soon, so that would be fun. I hope not, because he oh, beat me last time. He yeah. knocked me out last time. Yeah, that I don't stupid want to group it. last year. Let's, let's not do that again. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll save it for brackets. May the, may the wheel be kind oh, this year. To, to oh, wheel. <laughs> he crushed me last time. I don't want to get crushed again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, yeah, that is going to do it for us. Uh, again, congratulations to Shaddy, your August Tournio Corto winner. Uh, we are going to wrap this up. Uh, I'd like to thank our runners. Uh, if you're not already following them, I will put the command or try to put the command in chat. Yay, there it is. Go ahead and click those links. Uh, and of course, uh, huge shout outs to our tracker, Kami Renekai, doing a great job clicking those buttons behind the scenes. Uh, without trackers, uh, yeah, we, we need trackers. To, to make this happen, so huge shout outs to him. And Adam, thank you so much for uh, joining me on commentary. And no problem, Tracy. Thank you for having me. All right, but yeah, that is going to do it for us. Uh, next Zelda 1 Reacher might, I mean, I don't know, it might actually be some uh, SG Live stuff, so go ahead and keep an eye out for that. And a reminder to everyone out there that SG Live in person is happening in the first week of October. Uh, come join us in Herndon, Virginia. It is a great time. This will be my third year going, and I'd love to meet a whole, meet a bunch of Z1R people out there. So please, if you can, uh, do consider coming. But yeah, that's gonna do it for us. Uh, we'll see you when, when uh, we'll see you at the next one. Good night, everybody.